All right, so in this video, I'm going to speak on blocking your exes, all right, and why I think, in my humble opinion, I would say block your exes. But just take my opinion with a grain of salt, hear me out. Um, because a lot of people on YouTube, they might say don't they don't block their exes or they don't block women that they used to deal with or whatever or that, you know what I'm saying, they had an emotional attachment to because they want these women to see the come up. They want these women to, you know, see that, which is from a certain extent an egotistical standpoint. But for me, the reason why I block exes is because they're an ultimate distraction to me. And I understand myself and I understand my ego. My ego is to the point where you know, you get to a point if you're thinking about, OK, well, I'm going to post this or, you know, I'm going to show them this or I'm going to show them this travel. I'm going to show them this. Boom, boom, boom. And then you go back to see if that particular person watched your story. That's when it's a problem, because now you're flexing and now you're intentional. Now what you're doing is not coming from a genuine place of you're acting normally. It's coming from um, an agenda that you, you have and it's distracting. It's, it's hindering you from being the best that you can you can be you know what i'm saying that's me personally so with with that being said i'd rather forget my ex exists and i'd rather forget i'd rather them forget that i exist too you know i once had an emotional attachment to them i once maybe i, I did love them to a certain extent you know but now if you allow them back into your life you know and people say social media is not real and i think social media is real it's because we stay in it so much, it just becomes real. Just because you're not seeing somebody in person every day, you're seeing them on social media. You're seeing them view your story. You're they're seeing you're seeing them on their story. You're seeing them post or whatever they post. So it's it's real in a certain sense that we're seeing each other, and it's because they're in sight. They're on our mind. Okay. So to stop you from being triggered with anything they're posting. Because me, I'm so egotistical to the point where if I can't have you and I'm not fucking you personally, I'm going to get angry. Because my ego is so big as I deserve to be fucking you. Why not me? Who else are you fucking? Who else could you be possibly fucking? I'm fucking you so good. You know, I fucked you so good. Yeah, I might have fucked other bitches or fucked around or whatever. And you might be mad at that or whatever. Whatever. But that doesn't take away from the fact of who I am as a person. That doesn't take away from the fact that I'll be fucking the shit out of you. So I deserve to have access to you. And that's my ego talking to me. I understand that. So to cut this ego that keeps going and the wheels keep turning every time I see you, I just have to block you. I have to keep you off my mind and keep you out of sight to where my ego does not get hurt and start doing emotional irrational things because of the fact that i keep seeing you it's just like trading stocks or it's just like um in business uh they say you you need to be unemotional once you get emotional your decision making becomes irrational you become biased right and once you become biased you do not make the best decisions all right so understanding that understanding yourself and this is totally fine you can say what you want about it but know yourself know what gets you triggered know what you you know it causes you to do certain things or drives you to do certain things i don't necessarily think my exes really motivate me they don't motivate me if i'm not fucking them they're not motivating me if i don't have multiple women that are, i'm sleeping with that are on my team that are submitting to me it doesn't motivate me so having a person that i have slept with before is watching my story. I can see them post. I can see their story. And I'm not sleeping with them. And they're not mine. This is going to piss me off. Okay. So I just block them. Then I don't have to see them. And then I don't have to remind of the fact that I can, I don't have access to this person. This person is not submitting to me. And doing exactly what I want them to do. Which is pretty controlling. If you will. Or you know it, it might be egotistical. And I admit that. It is egotistical. But it's okay to know yourself. It's good to know yourself. It's good to know who you are, how your brain works, and know to put yourself in the best possible situations where you don't get in this mind frame. Okay? And that's that.